and it goes over the rolling pin and you roll this in flour before you roll out the dough, roll it out over the dough because you like ball up the dough, plunk it in the middle, put the sock on, roll it in flour a little bit and then you roll it out and um, you should, you could kind of see the red through it when it's thin enough. Then there's these long stick things that also work very well as swords. What? Okay. And um, you like run it underneath the, I don't know, left side of the pancake, the rolled out thing. And then you put it on the griddle and you cook it there until it's brown on one side. And sometimes most of the time it blows up like a balloon and then it lets down and then you flip it over and it's got the brown spots on one side and then you cook it on the other side. And then you, I didn't bring them up, but you put um, towels down and you put them in between the towels to keep them from drying out while they cool down. And then um, you package them up airtight to keep them from drying out. Otherwise, they turn into almost like a tostada, like a flour tostada. They're hard and, I don't know, break instead of fold and roll. So, and I think the, I know my mom puts peanut butter on it. I've heard some people eat them just plain with butter. But my mom says that it's, I think, a third, three to one in sugar and cinnamon. One being the cinnamon and three being the sugar. So that's how grandma used her tools to make lefsa. And you guys kind of got a tour of my cluttery house because <laughs> I just am not motivated to clean it yet. I will eventually. <laughs> so, all right, that's how you make a left stop.